Hey y'all, what you doing? Well, it's Roe or Hibbley. Roe and D. I am Roe, and today what we are doing, we are canning strawberry preserves. So, this recipe is old, really old. And it's going to use some of the, the vanilla that we made. It's going to use pectin, lemon juice, sugar, and your strawberries. So I went ahead and I blended some strawberries, but I'm going to show you how to what I'm doing. That way you don't get all mad at me. By the way, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. Um, So I take my mushroom blend and I'm just going down here. And I'm going down here and I'm doing this. Just to break up. Just enough to break up the strawberries. But not pulverize them to death. Because I, I wouldn't like that. So... We're going to be right back. Welcome back. After pulverizing my strawberries, we put them in here. I'm going to turn this down a little bit because it don't need to be going that mean. So in here, I have lemon. I have pectin. So I have a quarter cup of lemon. I have 1.75 ounces of pectin. I had to look it up. And it takes six cups of sugar. And that's what I'm getting ready to add in now. And y'all, when you add the sugar for real, for real, your stuff will get angry. So don't walk away from it. You got to constantly stir this stuff. And this is in a big stock pot. A ginormous stock pot. But... I think this makes five, five pints, um, five or six. Sometimes you'll get five, sometimes you'll get six. Um, but I have three batches of this to make. And with three batches being made, it sure is going to be a crazy day. Plus, I have to make something for Father's Day. Plus, I have to... Um, cook supper and clean and do everything else but these strawberries were going to go bad and I had uh, 14 pounds of strawberries I think it, it was a lot I mean each each container you want 4.5 pounds of strawberries so I have three of these that I need to make and you just you want to constantly stir this and you probably don't want to start with this wooden spoon because a wooden spoon will not let it a wooden spoon don't let it bubble so don't use a wooden spoon there goes me nutty as a fruitcake so we're just going to keep this stirred and see it's got some little pieces of strawberry in it but that's okay because then you know it's homemade it I do not like getting strawberry stuff from the store because it's so chemical. There's so many chemicals and dyes and they always want to put high fructose corn syrup in it and I can't have that. Um, and I can't even say that word. Every time I say that word, my, my sister says, you're talking dirty and I don't think I am. Um, but you're going to bring this up to a rolling boil. And I will bring you back and show you what a rolling boil is. Now, as you see, we're still, we're still stirring. But it's at a good boil. But a rolling boil means it comes over from the side. So no matter how much you stir, you're not going to stir that bowl down. Once it comes to that, you want to set a timer for one and a half minutes. And then, after that's done, you're going to transfer that into your cannon jars. So we're going to let this come to a full rolling boil. 
and then I'll bring you back to show what that actually looks like. As you see, it's not there yet still, but, but it is getting close. So the closer we get, the better it gets. So it's not there yet. That's not a full rolling bowl, but we're almost there. Now this, see, when you stir it, you can't stir it down. It's still boiling. So this is what I would consider a full rolling bowl. Now you let that go for a minute and a half. And some people say, well, how do you not have that, that foam on there that other people get? Well, I add a little bit of oil and it keeps that foam off there. And what little bit of foam I do got there, I'm okay with that. So we're going to let this finish and then we'll be back when we're setting up the jars to can the sweet loving. See, there's still pieces in there, y'all. So you can tell it's strawberry preserves. So there's still pieces in there. But we're going to come back when we're ready to can. So here we go, y'all. Get ready. I got the, the that turned off. Just stir it. I don't need this in there anymore. Um, so I got this doohickey that that takes and um, takes the liquid and makes it into the jar pretty quick and easy. Now I do put uh, paper down because when I come over my jar to my jar, I, I don't want to get it all over my stove. So I put. Um, parchment paper down and you want to leave a quarter of an inch of head space and I might leave just a little no let's get a little bit more just cuz it just cuz I like that doohickey cuz um see how it does I ain't got worry about it coming up on my pot it's just it's got this thing and it goes right there and I'm okay. So here we go, jar number two. I think this will do five jars, I'm not sure. It might do six, it just depends. Um, I don't know why that depends, but sometimes you can get five jars out of something, sometimes you can get six, sometimes you only get four. It's really weird. So, we're going to see. And I do have my jars sitting in my oven, and my oven on low. And the reason why I did that is because I want to keep my jars hot. And when I get done with this, I'm going to put this in the oven. That way, it stays hot too until I'm ready to put it in the canner. Because I have other jars in the canner right now. Because I have... um two more batches of this stuff to make. So, and like I said, I do put oil. I put a tablespoon to two of oil in whatever I'm canning, especially like this, because if you don't, what happens is you get all this white stuff that you got to pick off of the top of your stuff. And that's not good. You, you don't want to have to do that. that. That's just too much extra work. That oil ain't going to hurt nothing. Just like that white stuff won't hurt anything. But some people are like, oh, oh, oh. Well, you know, they want to cry like a Karen. But who cares? It's what's inside that matters because it's made with love. Now, it'd be different if you're just going to a, a grocery store and buying it off the shelf. Then I could understand, oh, woe is me, you know, those people. But when it's homemade, count your blessings. Because apparently somebody put a lot of love into that that they gave you. So, Miss Gracie, I always talk about Miss Gracie. Miss Gracie and her son. Oh, they love my blackberry, my blackberry preserves that I make. Um, well, if I can make them, because Sophie will eat them on me. I, I gotta watch her because she'll be out there standing on her back legs picking off every blackberry of that bush. She does the same thing with my pear trees. 
She goes by them, and she goes, hmm, I want some of that. See, I got that one too full. And I'm going to show you. I got that one too full. So, I'm going to get me a little spoon. Just a little spoon. One of these measuring spoons. And I'm going to show you what I do. Because this is a me thing that I do. A lot of people probably don't do it this way. Y'all might say I'm wrong for doing it. But I got these measuring spoons. So, I'm just going to pick that up. And put it back. Until I get down to the line. I don't know why I did that. I got one brain cell, y'all, and it's on life support. I pray for that brain cell every night. Because if it gets up, gives up, I'm trouble. Now that one's going to have a lot of clean off to do. So what do I do? I take this. I take my paper towel. And some people say, oh, you, you can't use that because, um... This or that. Well, my grandma always used vinegar. Mr. D's grandma and great grandma always used vinegar, and that's what I'm going to use. So I just wipe off that rim because I want to make sure there is nothing at all on that rim. Because if there's something on that rim, just a little bit, you're you're you won't get a seal, and you don't want to go through all this work. It took me 25 minutes. Of waiting. See, there's nothing on there. It took me 25... I've been standing here for 25 minutes stirring this. Lord. A lot of work. But at the same time while you're doing this, you're feeling to make sure there's no chips in your jars. Because Oh, I forgot to debubble. Y'all, see? Brain cell. So you gotta debubble. I do bubble. I do bubble. And the reason why you do this is you don't want no air pockets down there. And what I do is I just stick it in there and I stir it for a minute. Well, I say a minute, but it's only maybe a, a eighth of a second. Um, you always got to do bubble. Since I had to do that, I'm going to take and put a little bit more in this jar. Because she's not full full. She only a little bit full. And a little bit in that one. Okay. So now, again, you take your paper towel. And you wipe. And you want to make sure you don't have no... You don't want none of your preserves or oils or nothing on that right there. And thank God, they're still okay. But, you could get a chip in the top of your cannon jar. And, you wouldn't know it. So, when you do this, you're actually also feeling for chips. So, we got hot lids, hot jars. So oh, crap balls, man. Hot lids, hot jars. And these are stuck together. I'm going to burn myself. Now, I only use four jar lids. That's all I use. I've tried the other brands. With these lids, I've had no fails. It was not my fault. And when I say my fault, I mean my fault. Because <clears throat> I either cranked the lid too tight or... I didn't like that seal. But out of over 1,500 cannon jars, I have only had two to fail when I started using these. Now you want a ring, and you're going to put your ring on. And you just want to make sure they're finger tight. They don't have to be tight, tight. It's not like you're going to the fair and cranking down on something to win you a prize. You just want them finger tight. And I want y'all to look at Miss Sophia over there. Sophia, look at her. Look at her being all lazy. Look at that. Lazy baby. Look at her. I got you on video now, Miss Sophia. She does not like video at all. She does not like cameras. She's, you get a camera and she runs real quick. Oh, I, 
She rhymes. So, because I'm gonna put these back in the oven, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put me a thing down there, an oven tray. Now I have good ones, but I always use my bad ones for this. Because, and some of y'all out there might say, oh, you can't do that. Well, my grandma did, and it didn't kill her. Heck, she lived to be over 90. So, but my sisters one told me about putting my cannon jars in the oven. I didn't think about it until after the fact. But now, if I get cannon jars and I don't have my water bath available, I go ahead and I put those in the oven because they will stay hot. Those cannon jars will stay hot in the oven until I am ready to use them again. So, you all, we made some strawberry jelly today, or strawberry preserves, whatever you call it. Here we call it preserves, because homemade and it's a little chunky. There, I don't know what y'all call it. But I will be back later today. I'm making a, um, I'm making a cake. I think later today I'm going to try to make a cake. And some chicken. What's it called? Chicken pot pie. Homemade chicken pot pie. See y'all, I can't think. One brain cell. Life support. There it is. So I want to tell y'all, have a great day. God bless. And remember, pray. Pray for your enemies. Pray for your country. Pray for this government. Pray for everybody. And pray for yourself and be thankful. Because we need to be thankful for what we have. Because we could lose everything within months. Most people live paycheck by paycheck with no savings. So if they lose their job, they, they, help, they don't get the help. So I want y'all to pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for your enemies. If you don't know, like, follow, and share, please do. Subscribe. I love y'all. Have a great day. And I'll see you in a bit.